So it left me with no option but to write a book. If Gaia does exist, then we may find ourselves and all other living things to be parts and partners of a vast being who in her entirety has the power to maintain our planet as a fit and comfortable habitat for life. Uh, there was a lot missing, but the, 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 it was the skeleton of, what, of the body of theory that was to develop. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I was astonished, quite astonished, to receive letters and phone calls from religious people. Um, one, one that I remember particularly was the Bishop of Birmingham, uh, Hugh uh, Montefiore. It made me think of what theologians call the immanence of God, that is to say, the Holy Spirit of God working within creation and uh, the way in which these cybernetic controls are set up and uh, make life optimal for human beings to appear in so many different ways, which he describes, um, that immediately put me in, 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 in mind of, of, of the Holy Spirit working within creation. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. I found it very easy to engage with the people who are religious if they want to think of Gaia as an example of God's creation, a living thing that God created. Uh, I'm not saying I think that, but it's a way for them to think about it. Sweet child in time, you're... I was even more astonished with the interest that the New Age, which was the world I, I'd not even in, encountered at all before that. We don't recognise that we are so intimately connected with the Earth and that she is so much a part of us and we are so much a part of her um, that if we don't communicate with her and recognize how we can't live without her we'll destroy the earth we'll destroy her and we'll destroy ourselves